pump their tricks out. <laughs> Hi there, Will here, and today, a video from a while ago. I uh, freelance as an assistant, and uh, as part of my freelancing, I sometimes assist my friend Aubrey. And on this day, we went on a spectacular adventure, which isn't unusual with Aubrey, because we always seem to go on spectacular adventures, but this one was uh, quite special, and I got to film behind the scenes stuff on my DVC camera. The reason the video is releasing now, and not when it was filmed, which was in the summer at some point is because the images were part of a swimwear campaign on Aubrey's side, which uh, has now been released, so I can share them with you. You'll see later in the video there's a, a, a moment where it becomes relevant that I brought the Nikonos that I accidentally had loaded with uh, Kodak Vision 200T. Well, not accidentally, it just was loaded before and Aubrey asked that I bring the Nikonos for a moment that's going to occur later in the video. And uh, that's why there's been a couple of uh, sketchy looking Vision 200T pictures. But besides that, I shot a my Mamiya RB67. Aubrey shot this campaign on his Pentax 645N. And uh... Clean air, sea breeze, sunshine. You can hear them jump. To give you a quick overview of Kodak Vision 200T and why it rendered so wonkly on this day, it's a tungsten balanced cinema film, which means that it'll render very blue in daylight, which is of course what it was shot in on the yacht, and uh, it has a remjet layer on it, which means that one has to manually remove the remjet layer in order to be able to scan it properly, and also means that it cannot be developed in a normal lab's machine for fear of exhausting the chemicals. So I had my mate Matthew help me uh, develop it and we removed the ramjet layer manually. And to reiterate, the reason I had tungsten balanced film in my camera when I knew I was going to be shooting in daylight was because it was previously loaded and Aubrey needed the Nikonos for a shot that's going to come up now.
The irony of that day is that I brought the Nikonos for Orbit to use and then uh, we decided it would be cooler if he took his Pentax 645N out on the stand-up paddleboard, which was immensely brave and very cool. And the pictures, they're pretty special, you know? 645 pictures that look like that. Probably relatively hard to come by. Anyway, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And uh, consider buying a print. It helps support me and my growing family of videos.